you will be able to summarize the confined space entry process based on the information in General Instructions 2.100-2.709 in the Construction Safety Manual. Enabling objectives you will be able to define and identify a confined space, state the requirements of the confined space entry program, find the requirements to plan and prepare a confined space entry, identify work hazards and control measures, confined spaces, what is a confined space, large enough to allow workers to enter and perform work has limited or restricted means of entry or exit, not designed for human occupancy, contains or has the possibility to contain a hazardous atmosphere, contains any other recognized serious safety or health hazards, what is confined space entry, entry of any part of the body into a confined space, includes all periods of time when the confined space is occupied. Confined Space Entry Program Confined Space Entry Program Proponent Department's Local Program Identify Confined Spaces Identify Hazards of Confined Spaces Developing Confined Space Entry Plans Training Requirements and Qualifications Rescue Procedures Roles and Responsibilities Issuers and Receivers Identify which permits are required Conduct a joint site inspection Identify and document hazards and precautions on the permit forms Complete the hazard analysis checklist Attach additional forms to the permit if required Management Develop CSE program Develop and review CSE plans Identify training and qualifications. Mandate training. Restrict confined space entry to trained personnel. Designate confined space entry supervisors CSES. Provide equipment required for safe confined space entry. Conduct drills and emergency scenarios. Confined space entry supervisor CSES assigned by the issuer. Decides if conditions are acceptable for entry. Authorizes entry. Supervises entry operations. Stops entry if required. Generally the work permit issuer. Reviews entry plan. Communicates plan with entrance and standby men. Implementation of permits and plans. Training of entrance and standby men. Designates trained standby men. Generally issues CSE permits. Provides manpower and coordinate activities of multiple crews. Checks isolation, purging and gas test results. Monitors confined space activity. Ensures logs are completed. Ensures payers provided and use. Provides communications equipment. Provides immediate response equipment. Emergency rescue capabilities. Stops confined space entry when necessary. Confined space entry standby man reviews the entry plan and permits. Understands possible hazards. Maintains entry log. Monitors activities inside and outside the confined space. Maintains two-way communication. Notifies personnel in the event of an emergency. Leave the entry point. Never enters the confined space. Primary responsibility, no other duties, orders entrance to evacuate when an unsafe condition develops. An entrant displays unusual behavior effects from hazard exposure. If the standby man has leave the area and no relief is provided, the entrance must evacuate the space.